friends welcome to lecture number 18 in this lecture you will learn how to integrate your cucumber tests with jenkins continuous integration server so over here in intellij i have got this project and we have already seen how to push this particular project to the github account what i'm going to do is i'm going to execute this test my test dot java in the jenkins server i have already pushed that uh, particular project over here in the github i have also started the jenkins server so if you have access to the jenkins this is how jenkins looks like now to create the new project what you have to do is you need to click on new item but before that make sure that uh, you have got the plugins installed on the jenkins server you will need a couple of plugins like git plugin maven plugin install on the jenkins server to create a build for the cucumber and maven project so over here you can notice that there is a manage plugins uh, link click on that and there you can install or uninstall the required plugins if you click on install it will display what plugins have been installed you can notice that uh, i have installed this git plugin gradle plugin cvs plugin and the other plugins are by default installed which are disabled so i've also installed maven integration plugin ms build plugin ms test uh, runner plugin etc so similarly uh, if you want to install any plugin you can click on available and then or you can filter search the plugins available plugins and then once you find the appropriate plugin you can just install that one like that so when you click on this uh, any of the plugin these buttons will appear as install without restart download now and install after restart etc so that is how you can install the plugins and another thing important thing is you need to configure the paths for the maven jdk etc in the jenkins server as well so that you can do using these links manage jenkins and then going to configure a system over there you can specify if here your maven is installed and So as you can notice that there is a home directory of the Jenkins and then JDK installations have been configured over here. Maven installations are uh, configured over there. Gradle MS build similarly. In this project we do not need this Gradle MS build but uh, this is how you can set up those configurations as well. You can provide the git path as well. You can give the version control system or the SSH. Uh, configure your SSH public keys over there. And then click on save once you do all these settings what you have to do is you have to go to the new item and then uh, click on maven project and give the name of the project say sell name cucumber then click on ok and what you have to do is uh, give the path of this particular project in here source code management you have to give the repository url credentials you have already set up over there and then click on save you will have to give the goals this is really important thing what we want to do is clean test so to execute the test we generally give this goal clean test and since we want to execute just one test class that is org.softpost dot my tests you can give it like that otherwise you can uh, leave it like that only clean test if you want to execute all the tests from that project then click on save and setup is done next thing that you want to do is click on build now and it will start building the project we have installed this server as the service on the windows system you will not be able to view actually what's happening in the like you can't see the browser operations at all on the screen so if you want to view the browser operations happening on the screen you will have to start the uh, this Jenkins server in a different way using the command prompt so as you can see it is uh, trying to build this maven project so clean test goal has been executing it is downloading the required dependencies this cucumber dependencies are being downloaded now and this will happen for the first time when you execute the test on that project because once it downloads those uh, dependencies uh, these dependencies are stored locally on the server or the agent on which the server is executing those tests and finally it will start the test fetch or the test goal so test starting you cannot see anything like it will not launch the browser as such all that happens in the memory 
because we have started that uh, particular uh, server as uh, we are running this uh, team uh, junkin server as a service on the windows so you'll not see anything happening on the screen but uh, execution is happening in the main memory as you can see the output it's printing over there and one test has failed because title was not matching the given title so that was expected but uh, that is how you can set up the cucumber project on the chunkins and then execute your tests i'm gonna click on back to project so that's how you can create the new maven project to execute your cucumber tests on the junkins server that ends our lecture number uh, 18 that is integration of cucumber tests with the junkins i hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures uh,